welcome to my channel and if you are new my name is Sharna thank you so much for being here today I'm thinking of creating a fun bold look with having the theme as green I have always wanted to create a green gold halo eye look I am really excited to do this as you all can see in my channel I really love creating eye looks I believe that this is how I express my creativity although I'm still in learning process I love playing with various colors which is only possible with eyeshadows so before getting into the video don't forget to subscribe to my channel and ring the bell button so you are a part of the golden fam and without further ado let's get into the video so first I am going to prime the lid to prep before the eyeshadow. So I am taking Too Faced Born This Way concealer and I am applying that with a small beauty blender from Hank and Henry. So we are going to dip in the Morphe X Gemstrals palette and I am taking the dark green shade on the e.l.f. eye crease brush and I am going to be using packing motion in order to get the maximum pigmentation and I'm starting my application on my outer corner and gradually bringing the color to my inner corner. Now dipping into this slightest light green shade from BH Cosmetic Take Me Back to Brazil, I'm doing the same motion just above the previous color. Now dipping into the shade Social Blade, I am going to be doing the exact same process and I know this can be a little bit tedious but it's gonna help create that gorgeous gradient and faded out length to the look. Now taking the shade Bay on Profusion Brush. I'm going to be blending out the shade Social Blade up towards my brow and in this blending I lost few of those shades so I'm gonna go back and re-intensify them. Time to create the cut crease for the halo eye and I'm taking the same concealer and creating a new crease because if I apply the concealer on my natural eye crease we have no space to work with so we are gonna fake it till we make it and create the appearance of a high up crease and then taking makeup remover on a cotton pad to remove eyeshadow beneath the cut crease I'm going back in and applying the base and this is the time to really sharpen up the cut crease to create a much cleaner look so now I'm going to work backwards towards the center of my lid. So I'm gonna dip back into the Jim Shells palette and take the green shade and applying that in inner and outer corner. Green shade, I am again bringing the shade over my base. I am again bringing the same deep dark shade around the top edge of the cut crease to define it. Now it's time for the gold color and I am taking the color gold from this violet box eyeshadow palette from my last video. If you haven't watched the video I am going to put a link over there. So my eyes are pretty much done. I'm going to be applying Too Faced Better Than Sex mascara before applying some falsies by Colourpop. I want to add a little bit of sparkle on the very center of my lid so I went again with the gold color and slightly pat that over and over again. Then moving to the face, I want my base to be dewy and glowy so taking the e.l.f. glow lotion along with the Benefit Professional to cancel out the visible pores. Even though I want my base dewy, I still want a full coverage foundation and what better foundation to use when I want to cover everything than the Milani Conceal Plus Perfect 2-in-1 foundation in the shade Sand. And I'm gonna be applying it using the Hank and Henry sponge. That Milani foundation has literally covered everything so I'm going with the Too Faced Born This Way concealer in warm beige and believe me or not this is my first time using it 
to set this i am using this wet and wild loose powder and i do want my base dewy so i am taking this bigger fluffy brush not kicking my face away and to warming up my skin i am using physician formula butter bronzer in pf1101 and applying this on the premises of my face I am taking the Seattle London Marbled Light Blush in Dusk just to add some color back to my face. I want my skin to have almost like wet look to it so I am grabbing the Wet and Wild Jungle Rock Loose Highlighter and oh my goodness I am obsessed with it. Moving on to my lower lash line, I am tight lining my eyes using the dark green shade from Gelsters palette along with the lightest light green to have a smoked eye look. I am also highlighting my inner corner with the same loose highlighter from Wet and Wild. And to finish up my look, I am taking the Anastasia Perfect Lip Gloss and, and the lipstick Del Rio from MAC and mixing them together to make a really nice base. And this is the final look you all. I hope you liked the video and if you did, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and ring the bell button. Give this video a thumbs up and leave a comment down below. And I will see you all next time. Take care. Bye.